Hello my friends, this is Julia. Welcome and welcome back. I am so happy you are here. Today I have an art journal page for you, starting with this beautiful Lavinia branch. I'm stamping the branch in VersaFine clear nocturne ink. But I also have this mini branch, and I stamp quite a few of both the big branch and the mini. When I have a bunch of branches, I take a piece of watercolor paper measuring 7.5 by 7.5 inches. I put my cardstock square in my spray box and I bring out the Lavinia Moon stamp. But I don't use the stamp yet. I use the mask I have kept from other projects in masking paper and I place it where I want my moon. Today I'm using Nouveau Shimmer powders, but there are many pigment powders to choose from that works the same. I'm using the colors Solar Flare, Violet Brocade, Meteor Shower and Atlantis Burst. I'm using my fingers to gently tap the bottle, because you only need a small amount of powder, and it's easy to add more. When I have my powder spread out, I use my spray bottle with water and spray over the powder to activate it. I'm going to use a lot of water, but before I drown my paper, I add more of that meteorite shower that is my darkest color. I spray with more water, add a tad more powder, spray again and continue until I'm happy with my background. Nouveau shimmer powders shimmer, but there are pigment powders without the shimmer if you prefer. When I add powder, I am aiming to have the dark blue purple color coming in from the sides, like dark clouds on a night sky. I tilt the paper to make the colors blend and pool at the edges. And of course I have a coffee break, letting my page dry, before I continue adding powder and water. Using a small amount of powder and a thick watercolor paper means I can slowly build up layers of shimmering color. I love doing this, it's like magic when the pigment is activated by the water and just explode with yummy colors. When I'm happy with my sky, I remove the moon mask and reluctantly move on. Next I have a Lavinia stencil and I use Distress Oxide ink in chipped sapphire because it's such a beautiful dark blue with a purple tone. I'm using a small brush because I only need a hint of that stencil at the bottom and I don't want an opaque result. Next, I'm using that moon stamp and a stamping platform to make things easy. I stamp the moon in Distress Oxide ink in squeezed lemonade. I'm using a brush to apply the grey Distress Oxide ink hickory smoke to parts of my stamp that I want darker. When I'm happy with the moon, I stamp it yet again in Versamark embossing ink and cover it with clear embossing powder and melt it with my heat tool. By embossing the moon, I have trapped the color of the moon the way I want it and that way I can add more yellow shimmer powder and water without worries. I use a brush to spread that bright yellow shimmer all over the rest of the moon. Next, I move on to a habit of mine, which is using black soot archival ink to darken the edges. So, let's use those Lavinia branches. I put the mini branch on an acrylic block, 
using versifying clear nocturne ink, I stamped the branch like a frame around my scene. When I'm done with the mini stamp, I do the same with the big branch, filling in those spaces between the minis and angling the stamp to get different parts of the branch. Now, don't do this if you don't like fussy cutting, it isn't that important. I have cut out all the branches we stamped in the beginning and I glued two of the mini branches together and add these mini dimensional branches around the frame. Remember, fussy cutting is like therapy for me, but I'm well aware that it can have the opposite effect for others. When I'm done with the minis, I bring out two of the big branches cut out. This way I can have them facing opposite ways and I glue them down coming in from the sides. Next, I have some Lavinia owls, four of them and super cute. I use my stamping platform and I take great care to place my owls sitting on the branches and flying away. I stamp them in Versa Fine Clear Nocturne ink and I do the same for the other pair of owls. I was aiming for a creepy page, but these owls are too adorable. Next, I am back with more of the big branches and I glue them onto every other branch stamped around the branch frame for some added dimension. While I glue on more branches, I want to thank you for watching my video. I am so grateful to have you here, both you who are new and you who have been here for a while. I have the best subscribers a YouTuber could ever ask for. When the branches are in place, I go around the edges again with black ink to make them even darker. Next, I use a yellow and a white gel pen to make highlights fill in the eyes on the owls and create small dots here and there in clusters, adding to the whimsical feeling. To finish this page, I cut a black and a white piece of cardstock slightly bigger than my page. I use double-sided tape, and since I have trouble lining everything straight, I pull off the backing to the tape in the corners, and when it looks straight to me, I pull off all the backing and glue them together. My friend Linda gave me this Black Dilutions journal perfect to mount my page on and protect it. So I use liquid glue to adhere my page into the black journal. And now this Lavinia mixed media art journaling page is done. I hope you feel inspired or relaxed 
and I hope you will come back soon again. Until the next time, happy crafting!